Let's see. All right, let's start out speaking of back. Let's start out on our back. So go ahead and lay down on your back. Lay down on your back, bend your knees and place your feet on the floor so that you can kind of relax that lower back. We'll keep another minute or two before we go. Uh, just to make sure in case anybody's running late. So you can rest your hands. Both hands can be on your belly, one on your belly, one on your heart, okay. both on your chest or on the floor. So wherever you, whatever, whatever feels right for you. Okay. They're closed and let's just center. Relax your body. Let your body just breathe normally. Start to deepen your breath. So make your breath deeper, really inhale, fill your chest, fill your belly with air on your inhale. And then as you exhale, let the air come out of your chest and belly. Your eyes closed, maybe turning your head side to side gently. Just kind of starting to loosen up your neck. And then uh, just stick your feet up in the air. Keep your arms on the floor. Just stick your feet in the air. They don't have to be perfectly straight. Don't use your hands to hold them up. So just like your toes want to touch the ceiling. Again, they don't. legs don't have to be straight. I just want you to kind of get your feet up in the air because if you think about it, our feet are always below our heart, maybe level. When we're laying down, they're level with our heart. When we're sitting or standing, they're always below our heart. So it's really nice to get our feet up in the air and let the blood flow from our feet back down to our heart with gravity. And then maybe here, point and flex. Point your toes to the sky and then pull them back toward your knees. Do that a couple times, warming up the ankles. And then circle your ankles. All right, and then let's hug the right knee into your chest and drop the left leg all the way down onto the floor. You can hug both knees in and then stretch that left leg out, whatever is comfortable for you. So wrapping your hands around the front of that right shin, maybe interlacing the fingers and just kind of stretching your right thigh in toward your torso, toward your belly and chest. Maybe feeling a stretch on your back. And then bring your nose toward your knee. Just lift your head up a little bit. Kind of a little bit of a core here. And drop the head back down. Release that shin and then use your hands on that right knee to kind of circle that thigh bone around in the hip socket. Really big circles. Really big circles. Your hand can just guide your thigh. Let's go the other direction. Hug that knee in again, and then here you can use your strap or not. Stretch that right heel to the ceiling. If you want to, you can take your strap from around the bottom of the foot. You can stretch that leg up. So we're gonna keep your leg as straight as possible. Let your elbows rest on the floor. So when our arms are not reaching in the air, we wanna relax the shoulders and try to stretch that leg out. And then stretch your toes toward the, Floor above your head. Almost like if your leg could stay straight, 
and you can completely lay that leg down so the toes hit the floor above your head. It's not anatomically possible. You just visualize that. If it feels better to bend that left knee and place your foot on the floor, you can do that to protect your back. So starting to stretch and warm up the hamstrings. All right, and then if that left leg is bent, go ahead and stretch it out on your mat. I want you to place both ends of your strap in your left hand and let that leg kind of fall across your body, maybe halfway. Feel a little bit of a stretch there in that outer hip, outer thigh. Bring it back to the center and release that strap, hug the knee in. And then stretch that leg out. Then let's do the other side. Hug the left thigh in. That right leg is standing on the mat, unless you want to bend that knee if that feels better. It's just starting to stretch that left thigh toward your chest. Feel a stretch in the in the leg, maybe some in your back. Neck and shoulders stay relaxed. And then lift your nose toward your knee. That right leg is still on the floor. And then drop your head and shoulders back down. And release that shin and circle that left thigh bone. Big circles in the hip socket. You can use your hand again to guide that leg. And around. And then reverse. And then grabbing your strap if you want to, you can also just grab the back of your cap. Stretch that left heel to the ceiling. And let the elbows rest on the floor. Or maybe they're slightly off the floor, but the arms are not reaching way up for the foot. Pressing that left heel up to the sky. Nice stretch there. Don't lock the knee. It feels good to bend that right knee and place your foot on the floor. That's okay, too. As you continue to hold this, you lengthen the back of that leg. So you're pulling the kneecap back down toward your hip, pressing the back of your knee toward the front of the room, and then pulling your toes almost like they want to touch the floor. So the leg is nice and straight, and then folding that leg in toward your body without forcing or pushing. Listen to your body. All right, and then stretch that right leg out on the mat. If the knee is bent, place both ends of the strap in your left hand and drop that leg, sorry, in your right hand, sorry. And then drop that leg about halfway across. The goal is not to drop it all the way to the floor and pull your hips and spin your, pay attention to your lower back. Stay right here, press out through that heel. And then come back up to the center. All right, release that. Hug your knees, both knees into your chest. Side to side roll. Let's <clears throat> roll up and down the spine. So you can use your heels a little bit to swing the legs. Just roll shoulders to hip, heels, shoulders to heels a few times. Up to a seated position when you're when you're ready. You can use your momentum to get there. That's okay. If it feels good to sit on a blanket here, you can sit on. A, just sit nice and tall right here. The arms are going to drop down beside the body. Inhale the arms overhead. Palms touch. Exhale. Bring your hands to your heart. Let's do that again. Inhale. Sweep the arms out wide and up. Palms touch. Exhale. Hands to your heart. Time. Inhale, sweep the arms wide and up. Nice hands to heart. Side bend, inhale the arms high. Side bend to your right. Just a little side bend. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, go the other way. 
Inhale the arms overhead. Let's move with the breath. Exhale, side bend to the right again. Inhale, arms straight up, sit tall, shoulders are relaxed, exhale. Inhale, arms up. This time we're going to hold it a little bit longer. Take it to your right and hold it here. Bending the bottom elbow. Stretch from your hip to your armpit here. So really reach, lift those ribs to the sky. And then inhale the arms overhead. And let's go the other way. Here, bend your bottom elbow, pressing that right hip to the earth, stretching hip to armpit. Arms overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale the arms overhead. And then let's take a forward fold. So bring your hands to the floor. And then when they hit the floor, just walk them forward a little bit. Or maybe this is as far as you can go for your back. Okay. Maybe you can walk a little bit farther, bend those elbows a little bit, drop your belly first, then your chest, and then your head. So the belly is really heavy. Belly button is dropping toward your mat. Feeling a nice stretch in your back here. And everyone's stretch is going to look different. Some people may have their hands really close to their shins. Some people can almost fold in half. Everyone's body is different. So honor your body wherever you feel the stretch. Your breath help your body relax. breaths. Walk the hands back in. Let's take the hands behind you and you can interlink your fingers. You can grab your opposite wrist or you can grab your opposite forearm. Okay, and I want you to draw your shoulder blades together on your back and open up the front of the chest. Okay, so imagine your shoulder blades sliding together on your back. Sliding together, opening the chest. Shoulders also drop down away from the ears, opening the heart. You can look up slightly if that feels good. Shoulders are heavy. Inhale the arms out to the side. We're going to hug ourselves. It doesn't matter. One arm goes underneath the other. A tight hug, kind of grab your opposite shoulder blades, sitting tall. Why? Opposite arm goes underneath. Stretching the upper back. Give yourself a hug. Inhale the arms out to a T. This time we're going to twist. So we're going to move the top half of the body. Twist to your right. Your hand will come down on the outside of your thigh. The other arm will drop to the floor behind you. Okay. Your shoulders are over your hips. So we're sitting nice and tall, straight spine. And then gently press your hand against your thigh to deepen your twist. Maybe looking over the back shoulder if that feels okay on your neck. Relax and breathe. And inhale the arms out wide into a T again. And let's twist the other way. Nice. Very gentle twist, okay? We're not trying to force or push anything. Honor your body. Listen to your body. Stretch both legs straight out. And you want to um, push the sole, excuse me, push the soles of your feet toward the front of the room. Relax those knees. Again, you can use your strap here if you want to or not. So inhale the arms overhead. Have it. And then as you exhale, bring it out of here and then just reach. You can place your strap just below the base of your toes. Okay. And again, we're not pulling. Okay. You can walk that strap. Whether the strap is a stretchy strap or a non stretchy strap, you can try and walk your hands in closer to or toward your feet. You want to look straight down at your mat. So on your inhale, you want to lengthen your spine. Pretend you're 
Pelvis is a bowl of soup and you wanna spill it on the floor. Okay, so the belly button or your lower abs are spilling onto the floor. On your inhale, you're stretching your head toward your feet to lengthen your spine, relax those shoulders, keep that length in the spine. And then as you exhale, drop your chest and belly toward your thighs. Your knees can be softly bent here. Spine. Exhale to drop chest and belly toward the floor, and then maybe gently relax the back of your knees toward the mat. Nope. They're soft. Neck and shoulders are loose. Fine. Exhale to fold your body forward over the legs. Slowly come up and bring that strap if you'd like. Let's um, get the inner hips. So bring the soles of your feet together to touch. Now they don't have to stay kissing like this, they can fall open. Okay. So if my feet stay together, my knees are way up here. The Key is to let your knees relax to open your hips right here. A little muscle attaching your thigh bone to your pelvis. So let the knees drop. The, the outside edge of your feet can be touching. Sometimes some people can even turn the soles of their feet to the ceiling. Okay, there's no right or wrong, but we want to get the hips right here. So even if you need to, you can have locks under your knees for support. That's okay too. And then grabbing your ankles or your big toes, you want to again spill your pelvis, spill that soup. Lower belly drops to the floor. Your gaze is at the mat ahead of your toes. Not back at your stomach because then we're pulling the belly in. I want you to push your belly toward the floor. Let your knees relax. Your hands can stay on your feet or you can walk them forward. Pay attention to your back here. Okay, this can be a back stretch if you pull your belly in. If you want the hip stretch, I want you to press your belly toward the mat. Use your breath to relax. Close your eyes if you'd like. Let's take two more breaths where you are. Body is relaxing on the exhale. Up, knees come together. Take our few blocks over the one side. Let's swing the legs around and come to our hands and knees. If you need extra padding under your knees here, because we'll be on our knees for a few moments, you can place a blanket under your knees. You can double up your mat like this. Just kind of fold it back on itself for for extra padding, whatever whatever works for you. Or maybe you don't need any. Okay, so we're on our hands and knees here like a table. And again, I want you to just close your eyes and kind of get into your body and see what feels good. Maybe moving your hips side to side or holding it to one side for a moment. Maybe sitting back into child's pose feels good. Maybe walking your hands forward a little bit, keeping the arms fairly straight and dropping your hips toward the floor to stretch the front of the hips. Maybe some cow cats. Just close your eyes and move your body however it feels good to you right now. So it's kind of stretch and wake up your hips, your back, shoulders. Everyone's eyes are closed, so no one is watching you. It doesn't matter what you look like. I want you to tune into what your body is feeling in the torso, the neck, the shoulders, the back, the hips. Right. And then let's all come back to our hands and knees. And make sure that the knees are under the hips and the wrists are under the shoulders. So we want a nice flat back here, not letting the belly drop. So pulling the belly button up toward the rib cage to flatten out that lower back to screw. We're going to keep our hands on the mat the whole time. And we're going to keep staring at the mat for the first part. So on your inhale, I want you to push that 
right? Heels straight back, toes are facing the floor. And on your exhale, as you bring your knee toward your nose, they don't have to touch, but just kind of rounding the back a little bit. As you inhale, look back at your mat, push the heel straight back, try not to pull that hip up, pull the belly in, protect that lower back. Exhale, bring the knee toward the nose. Inhale, leg goes straight back, gazing at your mat. Exhale, the nose. And one more time, inhale, straight leg, look at the mat. Exhale, knee to nose. Come back to your hands and knees. Kind of square out the weight. Shift it back and forth. Take one cow cat. Inhale, belly down, tail up, chest up. Exhale, round your back. Chin to chest. All right, and then come back to your hands and knees. Again, try to flatten out that lower back so belly button draws in. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. On the inhale, we're gonna push that left heel like we wanna make a footprint on the back wall. Look at the mat. Exhale, bring your knee toward your nose. Inhale, stretch the leg back. Look at your mat, push through the heel. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, leg back, gaze at the floor, push through that heel. Exhale, knee to nose. Last one, push it back and drop that knee down. Again, shift the weight, kind of square it out. Let's take another cow cat. Inhale, belly down, tail up, chest up. Exhale, cat, round your back, chin to chest. And then come back to that neutral spine and push back to child's pose. Rest here for a moment. Big toes touching, knees open wide, letting the hips sink back toward your heels. Forehead is on the floor or on a block. Neck and shoulders are relaxed. Your hips don't have to come all the way down to your heels, okay? Everyone, everyone's body, is, again, is different. Stay here. Maybe in your child's, you just want to be still. Maybe your forehead, which is in contact with the mat or a block, is gently kind of rolling one ear toward the mat, back to the center, ear toward the mat. While the forehead stays in contact with your mat or a block, just loosening the neck. Maybe shifting your hips side to side to release that lower back. Let's see if you can sink a little deeper. Back to your hands and knees, and then all the way down onto your belly. So our hands, our toes are reaching straight back behind us. The hands are spread wide. Palms are really close to the shoulders. Okay? The elbows are squeezing in, so the elbows are not out here. Squeeze those elbows in, and then pull the elbows down toward your hips, okay? Looking at the mat, as you inhale, take a little baby cobra, barely lifted. Squeeze your glutes first and lift your chest and then lower down. Squeeze your glutes, lift your chest, baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. One more time, squeeze the glutes, lift the chest and lower down. Turn your head to one side, lay your head down, stretch the arms straight back behind you. Let your shoulders melt into the mat. Let your hips legs, glutes, back, relax. So the heels might kind of fall outward. Stay here. Bring your chin back to the mat. We're gonna bring the arms back. And this time we're gonna slide the elbows forward into Sphinx pose. All right, so the elbows are under the shoulders or ahead. They're not way back here by the ribs, so slide them forward. It's okay if they're ahead of your shoulders. And your palms are on the floor. Let your hips relax, don't push them down. 
And your chest can be lowered a little bit if you need to. Okay, it's not about lifting high. So just pressing the forearms into the mat, lifting your heart up and forward like a sphinx. And then pretend you're, um, you want to pull the front of your mat in toward your body, like you're pulling, you're dragging your body forward. Okay, engaging. Relax, let's relax the lower back. Okay, if, again, adjust if you need to. Like if this is too high, too much for you, then drop your chest down a little bit. Don't drop your head though, but just drop your chest. All right, one more breath. Here you are, looking good. Lower down again. Turn your head the other way. Arms come back down beside your body. Cheek on the mat. Let the body melt. Let the shoulders kind of roll inward. Heels roll outward. Your feet up in the air. You don't have to point or flex. Just feet stick straight up. And then we're going to use our shins are going to be like windshield wipers, kind of like swishing side to side. They don't have to go all the way to the floor. They're just kind of going side to side to release that lower back. All right, and then drop the legs straight back behind you again. Coming to child's pose. Press that. Stretch out your back. Again, maybe moving the hips side to side or rolling the head. That feels good. And then coming back to your hands and knees, and let's take it to our downward facing dog. So making sure that the fingers are spread really wide, okay? Your thumbs should kind of be across from one another. Middle finger goes out the front of your mat. Like this, okay, we're going to curl the toes, lift the hips up, and then press our heels toward the floor. They don't have to be touching the floor, okay? but they're definitely stretching toward it. If this is too much on your arms, you can always drop to the knees, come to the forearms, and then lift up and press back. So you can be on the forearms. You could also be on the knees in your down dog and pull the hips back with the hands on the floor. Stay right here. One more breath. And then look at your hands. Walk your feet to your hands in a forward fold. Just hanging here. Your feet are about hip width apart. You can bend those knees and even lay your chest down on your thighs. It's a nice back stretch there. If you start to straighten the legs, that's more of a leg stretch. So depending on what you'd like, you can adjust your legs. And then pressing into the feet, inhale the arms straight out to the sides, up overhead, arms touch, hands touch. Let's take a couple of breaths right here. Inhale the arms high. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale the arms up. Hands to heart. Arms up. Hands to heart. Out. So let's get our strap. We're going to work our arms a little bit here. Step back that lights blinding. Um, if your arms start to burn or get are tired, I mean, this is a gentle flow, but if your arms start bothering you, then just adjust. Maybe don't use the strap, okay? So we're, we're going to keep the arms engaged. We're going to start with our feet about hip width apart, maybe a little wider, almost like we're going to look like a giant X. So some of us have stretchy, some of us don't have stretchy. Uh, I want you to take your arms overhead and kind of, you don't have to stretch like this, okay? If you have the non-stretchy, that's okay, but really we're just, um, the arms are nice and straight and there's a little bit of tension. So you don't have to really pull hard on that. Just stay right here, okay? And this big X, Tadasana. Relax the shoulders away from your ears. And you're gonna start feeling this on the, the back of the arms, the triceps. Hold it here and breathe. Relax the shoulders, breathe in, breathe out. Or stay relaxed. Then soften those shoulders. All right, keeping some tension, we're going to take it to the right, a little side bend to the right, and, and back to the center. Exhale. Inhale, I'm sorry, inhale here, 
Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Keep the belly pulled in, so we want to protect our back. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Creating, keeping that tension just a little bit. Exhale. Inhale, center. And one more time. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. And then back to the center. All right, so we're going to stay here. Inhale. This time we're going to add a twist. Just move the top half of the body. Twist right. Inhale, center. Hips stay forward. Exhale, twist left. Don't lock the knees. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. One more time each side. Moving with the breath, center. And side. Center. Drop the arms down, rest for a minute. Okay. Relax those shoulders. So we're going to do that same thing instead of Tadasana. And then side bend, twist. We're going to do warrior one. Side bend, twist. Okay. So relax those arms. Okay. We're going to hold it in warrior one first. Let's step the right foot forward. Toes are straight ahead, bending that knee. The back leg is straight. So step that foot back. Your feet are, you know, however wide your legs are. Right knee is bent. Try pressing your chin forward. Left hip draws in, so that left toes turn in about 45 degrees. So warrior one legs, just the legs are different. Take your arms up again. Again, if your arms are tired, they don't have to, you don't have to use the strap. You can just do this, okay? So a little bit of tension, drop those shoulders. Arms are straight, so we're not bending the elbows. Reach up and out a little bit. Hold it here for three to five breaths. Breathe in, bending that front knee, relaxing the shoulders. Try not to lean forward. You can also put less tension on that strap if the arms are tired. One more. Let's take a little side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, side. Also, there's a little balance challenge here. Inhale, center. Exhale, side. Keep the belly pulled in, protect the back. Center, side. Center, one more. Side, you guys are doing great. Center, exhale, inhale. Okay, this time we're gonna twist, exhale. Inhale, center, try to keep the legs still. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. This is where you need to pay attention to your back too. Exhale, twist. Maybe you don't twist as far and that's okay. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. And center. One more to each side. Exhale, twist. Center. Exhale, twist. Center. Drop the arms. Step the back foot up. Take it out. Make the even. If you want to stretch out your back, your back hands can be on your thighs and pull the belly in. Taking the rest in between is really important. All right, this time we're going to take it a warrior two, not stretching the staff up, but we're going to take a reverse. Right? So we're going to take a reverse and hold it. And then we're going to come into warrior three. So from the warrior two, we're not going to stretch it way out in warrior two just to show you. Then we'll take like a reverse, right? And, and, and back to warrior two, reverse. And it might not be a full warrior. So we're not going to stretch it like this, just kind of overhead, straight overhead. And then we're going to flip up on our back foot and come to warrior three, okay? Deal with that strap. All right. So let's kind of take a warrior two first. Right toes, our right foot is stepping forward. Right toes point straight ahead. 
That back heel spins back a little bit. Again, the right knee is bent, just like in Warrior One. We're going to take the strap up overhead. Again, the same, about the same distance like we were doing with the X arms. You do not have to have the strap. If you're done with the strap, it's okay, right? So right here, fold it here, shoulders down. Just having that X or the V with the arms right here. Shoulders are relaxed. Looking toward the right. And we're going to take a reverse. Just kind of tilt backwards toward the left. That right knee stays bent. Lift from the waist to protect the back. Breathe. One more breath. That tour warrior two. So we're gonna set that left foot in a little closer. And then we're gonna pivot the hips forward. So turn that left heel back, the arms, maybe the hands come in a little closer, okay? So we're gonna pick that left heel up, okay? Pull the belly in and maybe step that left foot up just a little bit. We're not pushing or launching off that left foot. We're just shifting the weight into the right foot. I need to back up so we don't hit the wall. Shifting the weight into the right foot until that left leg lifts. Okay, you wanna push your left heel to the back wall and try to spin your left toes toward the floor. Maybe pull that strap apart, create some tension, to help you balance. It doesn't matter what you look like. Awesome, you guys are doing great. One more breath. And then soften that right knee and drop the left foot back. All right, relax the arms again for a second and hold your legs right here. So we're going to take, now we're going to take the strap behind us. So you can choose to like move your, turn your hands inside or outside. It doesn't matter. So front knee is bent. Let's lift that back heel. And if you want to, you can come down to your knee here. Okay. So we're opening up the chest. So on the back knee or on your back toes, front knee is bent. And I want you to kind of pull that strap apart behind you. Opening up, you should feel this right here. And again, if you don't want to use the strap, just reach the arms back up. Okay, stay here, one more breath. You can also just interlace your fingers behind your back or grab your opposite wrist. And then let's lean forward. So again, if you want to drop your back knee and lean forward, you can clasp your hands or tap that strap behind you. One more breath. Release the arms down, and we're coming to child's pose. So you can pull that front leg back, drop the knees down, sit back on your heels. Sit back on your heels, child's pose. Relaxing your neck and shoulders, relaxing your jaw, your hips. One more breath here. Let's come back to our hands and knees and press back to your downward facing dog again. Full body stretch. So if you want to, those knees can be slightly bent. Maybe the legs are stretching a little longer. Your chest to thighs, tail low to the sky. And then look at your hands, bring your feet to your hands again. Forward fold. Again, you can bend the knees deeply and rest your chest on your thighs. And then press into your feet. Inhale the arms out to the sides and up over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's do that again. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Nice. Exhale, hands to your heart. All right, so let's do the other side. We're not gonna do that Tadasana thing again. We'll just start from warrior one. So grab your strap. This time our left foot is gonna be forward. Step that right foot back. Okay. 
and then the arms do go up. Again, kind of in that V or that half the top half of an X. A little bit of tension, relax the shoulders, front knee bent, back toes are turned in 45 degrees. You want to turn that right hip in toward the left thigh. Chest up, shoulders down. Stay here and breathe. Bend that front knee. Feeling the stretch in the right calf, maybe. Shoulders are relaxed. Let's add that side bend. Inhale here. Exhale, bend left. Inhale, center. Keep the belly pulled in. Protect your back. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time each side. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And we're going to add that twist. Twist. Inhale, center. Keep the tension. Exhale, twist. Kind of pull the strap apart a little bit. Center. Exhale as you twist. Center. Exhale, twist it out. And one more time each side. You guys look great. Center. Twist. Center. And twist. Center. Release the arms. Step it up. Press the arms. Everybody okay? All right. Hopefully I'm not, I don't want to add tension to your neck and shoulders, but hopefully we're getting rid of some. Okay, rid of some. All right. <clears throat> so we're doing that warrior two to the reverse, holding it. Warrior two and then two warrior three on the front. So let's take our left toes pointing straight ahead. Okay, step the feet wide enough. Right heel spins back just a little bit. Let's bend that left knee. Okay, imagine you're in a toaster slot, right? So that left knee, your glute, your shoulders, nothing's gonna get burned. So we wanna kind of like pull the left thigh open, right hip comes forward. So we're tucking this under, okay? We're gonna take that strap up above, a V or the top half of an X, shoulders are relaxed again. Warrior two right here from the waist down, and then let's take a little reverse with the arms. Keep the tension in the strap, pull the belly in to protect that lower back. Tailbone points to the floor, stay here and breathe. Warrior two. Shoulders are relaxed, arms fairly straight. All right. And then come back up to warrior two with the arms overhead. All right, so we're gonna to come to that warrior three, bring the arms down. We're gonna step that right foot in a little bit and then spin up onto the right toes. Okay. The arms, the strap is straight out ahead of us. Then we're going to shift the weight onto that left foot. Maybe baby step the right foot up a little bit. Put more weight on that left foot and just lean forward until that right leg lifts. It does not have to be high. Pull that strap apart. Nice. Balancing on one foot. It doesn't matter what you look like. Beautiful. One more breath. And then gently drop it back. All right. So let's take this behind our back. We're gonna lift the back heel now. So we're like in crescent. Again, the back knee can drop. Pull the strap apart behind us or interlace our fingers and open the chest, either one. Stay right here. Almost there, guys. Almost there. We're going to keep that tension in the strap and lean forward, almost like a humble warrior, bringing our chest toward that front thigh, staying on the back toes or dropping to the back knee. One more breath. Release the strap, release the arms to your child's pose. Child's pose, nice. <coughs>
Go ahead and walk your hands back in toward your body, sitting upright just for a moment. Stretch the quads. We're going to kind of come through this pose, drop your hips to one side, swing the legs around, and come down onto your back for a modified pigeon. So feet are on the floor with the knees bent. And this, let's um, kind of move that back for a minute. So I want you to tilt your pelvis. I want you to pull your belly button toward your rib cage or toward your heart and, and kind of tilt your pelvis so that lower back presses into the floor for a moment. And then pull the belly button back down toward your pubic bone. So the natural curve of the lower back. Again, let's tilt the pelvis. So belly button pulls up toward your heart. And then belly button goes back down toward your toes. Don't put over push it. And then one more time, belly button to the heart. Belly button to your toes. And then just kind of let it relax, level it out. Okay, so there's gonna still be some space under that lower back, just not very much. There is a natural curve there. Then we'll take that right ankle and place it above the left knee. And then we're gonna grab the back of the left thigh. So right hand comes through your legs, left arm comes around behind that left thigh. We're gonna stretch that left thigh toward our chest to open up the outer right hip. You can use your strap here if you want to behind that left thigh. Right ankle. Yeah. Just breathe, guys. Bring your chin toward your chest just a little bit. A lot of people are pointing their chin to the sky and having their length in the back of your neck. Nice. As you exhale, soften that right hip. Okay. and circle that right hip in the socket again. You can stretch your left leg out on the floor or leave that left leg bent, but keep that right knee bent and just kind of circle that. Focus on the top of your thigh bone in the hip socket. That's what's moving around. So we're not straightening and bending. It has nothing to do with the knee. It's all about the hip. And then when you are ready, go ahead and take it to the other side. Right foot on the floor with the knee bent, left ankle above right knee. Same thing, other side. Okay. Is that being a stretch or do you need it? Good. Relax your right foot, but flex your left foot, meaning pull your left toes back toward the knee. That's it. Protect that left knee, but right foot is completely relaxed. Let it just be. Breathe. On your exhale, soften and relax. It's your body. Chin draws toward the chest to lengthen the back of your neck. Stress and tension. The other side, left thigh bone, top of that left thigh bone is circling around in the hip socket. 